Hello friends, this video on integrals part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Now let's solve some questions without inspection using some formulas. Some formulas we know that x to the power n dx is nothing but x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1, right? These kind of formulas we know plus some constant. So also we know that integration of e to the power x dx is e to the power x plus some constant. So we know some formulas, right? We know some formulas and these formulas we know because we uh, had a slide where we saw that uh, integration is anti-differentiation and these formulas came out by that only. So we'll use some formulas. So this is nothing but I can write as 2x square integration dx plus integration e to the power x dx correct i just broke this here i can take two constant out 2 into x square dx plus integration of e to the power dx now we'll use a formula x to the power n becomes x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 correct into this plus e to the power x dx is e to the power x only so this becomes 2 by 3 x cube plus e to the power x plus some constant and that is the answer. So here we are using simple uh, integration formulas which we have derived by antiderivative. So we will solve some questions on that so that we get comfortable in solving simple integration questions. One more example, this question you have to solve. So let us break this, this is nothing but x cube by x square becomes x plus 5x square by x square becomes 5 minus 4 by x square. The whole thing dx. Let us break this. This becomes x dx plus integration of 5 dot dx minus 4 integration of 1 by x square dot dx. Correct. x dx becomes x to the power n dx integration is nothing but x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. This formula we know. Here x is equal to 1. So this becomes x to the power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus 5. 5 anyway I can take out also. Do 1. Integration of 1 is nothing but x. Y. 1 is nothing but x to the power 0 and if you integrate x to the power 0 dot dx that is nothing but x to the power 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 that is nothing but x by 1 that is x that becomes x minus this is x to the power minus 2 1 by x square so this guy will become plus 1 here divided by minus 2 plus 1 correct so this will become x to the power minus 1 by minus 1 and 4 anyway is constant here multiplied. So what you get here is x square by 2 plus 5x minus minus becomes plus 4 by x and plus 1 constant will add because we are integrating so we will get a constant factor and we will explain why we get constant factor in the all these slides. That is my answer. Let us take one more example. Here also we have limited formula, we know that x to the power n dx integral is x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. This is enough. So with this limited formula is only we have to solve this. What can we do? What if we uh, rearrange this and get x minus 1 common factor and we break this? So in that case we will get only one denominator. Let us try this. So if you take x minus 1 common, this becomes x into or this becomes x square. You take x square common, this becomes x minus 1 plus 1 you could take common, this becomes x minus 1 by x minus 1. No. Correct. This is nothing but x square plus 1 into x minus 1 by x minus 1 dx integral. I am just rearranging this so that my x minus 1 part is cancelled. Now my question is very simple that is x square plus 1 dx 
and there is nothing but integral of x square dx plus integral of 1 dx x square is x to the power 2 this becomes x to the power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 this is x to the power 0 that becomes x to the power 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 that is 1 so this becomes x cube by 3 plus x plus some constant and that is my answer very simple let's take one more example here also we know something we know that integration of cos x is equal to sin x integration of minus sin x is equal to cos x these things we know right these things we know by reverse differentiation so we'll use those formulas also we know that integration of e to the power x dx is e to the power x only also we know that integration of x to the power n is nothing but x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 these are basic formulas we know. So we'll use these basic formulas to solve these questions. More complex we'll learn later, but now we know all these basic formulas, basic formulas of an integral. We're just trying to solve this question so that we become comfortable in solving such kind of questions. So let's try this. 2x minus 3 cos x plus e to the power x dx. So let's uh, break this. So this becomes 2x dx minus 3 cos x dx integral plus e to the power x dx integral. Correct? So 2 I can take constant out 2 into x dx minus 3 I can take constant out cos x dx plus e to the power x dx. Correct? x dx becomes x to the power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1. Correct? Minus 3 into cos x dx becomes sin x why right? cos x dx is sin x e to the power x dx is e to the power x only plus one constant I'll get because a lot of integration I am doing so this becomes x square because 2 to cancels minus 3 sin x plus e to the power x plus c and that is my answer so what I have done here I think great I had this uh, 2x 3 cos x e to the power x I use the normal formulas which we have for integral and formula integration let's take one more example here to solve this question we also know a lot of formulas by reverse or differentiation itself that is integration of x square x is only one tan x integration of 6x x, tan x is only what sec x these formulas we know by reverse of differentiation because derivative of tan x is x square x derivative of sec x sec x is sec x tan x so let's solve this this becomes sec square x dx plus integration of sec x tan x dx correct sec square x dx integration is tan x we know so this becomes tan x plus sec x tan x integration is sec x you know and plus some constant and that is my answer very simple question let's take one more example 2 minus 3 sin x by cos square x but we, we uh, till now we have not learned how to uh, tackle this such kind of question where we have cos square x in the denominator and all so let's break this see what it is this is nothing but 2 cos square x minus 3 sin x by cos square x dx and this is nothing but 2 sec square x minus 3 sin by cos become 10 and 1 by cos become 6 so why I am doing this because I know integration of sec square x now that is tan x I know integration of tan x sec x that is nothing but sec x this thing I know since I know all this I am trying to convert my equation in this form right so this is what I have done 
this is nothing but 2 integration of 6 square x minus 3 integration of 10 x 6 x dx and this is nothing but 2 tan x minus 3 sec x plus some constant and that is the answer. So what I have done here, I just converted this guy because this was complex for me 2 into sec square and 10 x, 10 x sec, uh, sec x forms. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.